Today we're all taking a trip to Scratch Happy Land with Kid Koala. So when did you actually realize, you know what, let me start DJing? When was that moment where you said, this is actually what I want to do? Oh, I knew I wanted to do it from a very early age, but I didn't know that it could really become a profession. You know, back then, I started when I was 12, and even then, with nobody listening, not even my mom, you know, she would just, she would, I mean, she said, do you mind if I close this door? You know, it was like totally like just me DJing to the wall. But regardless, there was something about the craft of scratching and, and learning how to bend notes on a turntable that was so interesting and compelling to me that it was, it was the, you know, my way of kind of trying to find my voice, you know, I, either as a musician or artist or whatever. It was just, it was just that instrument that I knew I would always want to play. Um, but back then, there was nobody touring or making a living scratching. Things have changed. Yeah, if you told me, you know, 20 years from now or something, you're going to be flying around and, you know, playing with some of your favorite bands. And let's talk about that, because going from, I don't ever think I can actually do anything with this in my life, to <laughs> opening for Radiohead, right. York, yeah. Gorillaz, Arcade yeah. Fire, yeah. to name a few. Yeah, you know, when I got the call, for some of those very shows, I couldn't believe it, you know what I mean? Because I spent a lot of time here in isolation, so you never really know who's listening, but when you find out that, I don't know, they, they actually had one of the records I put out and were into it and you get a call to, to join a tour or something, it's like, I have to pinch myself all the time. And, you know, yeah, <laughs> it's a dream. <laughs> Brand new, latest album, yes. 12 Bit Blues. Can you give me a little bit of the background story because it's blues inspired? It's a turntable take on a Delta Blues record. I started in, in hip hop stuff and then I kind of followed the uh, historical dots back in time and I, I realized that a lot of the music I like all has its roots in the blues. We have a gramophone here. Yes. That is actually included. Yes. In the album. Yeah, you get this. We'll show you the before and after. Right. You get this. Uh, you get this kit. You get all the the parts you need to build this cardboard gramophone science kit, essentially. Oh. Yeah, with a flexi vinyl. This actually has a, a song I did for the film Looper. Um, on it. On it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, director Ryan Johnson, brilliant director, asked me to do uh, a track for one of the scenes there, and this is the only place you're gonna hear it actually on Exclusive. a. Exclusive on a flexi analog disc. And so you put, it, you put it all together and then you use a regular pin or needle as a stylus and then it's, it's hand operated. So then you just kind of turn around with your hand and you actually hear it. It's, you know, physics. It's amazing. You approach this as an instrument and you've actually developed some very specific techniques around how you scratch. There's several ways to play turntable, yes. Can you show us a little bit? You're ready. I'm ready? Yeah, let's All hit right. the road. We can take this act. <laughs> Kid Koala's latest album, 12-Bit Blues, is available now. He's going to be on tour in 2013.